In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn an old phone into a baby monitor for free. So a few months back, I actually made a video showing you how to repurpose an old phone into a baby monitor. As we all know, baby monitors aren't cheap. So turning an old phone into a baby monitor is a good option. However, that app is no longer available for anyone to download. So I think if you have it still downloaded, you can still use it. Um, but this new app I found for you guys worked just as well. Um, the only difference between the two apps really is that the previous app I found was not only free, it didn't have ads. This one does have ads, but I think it's a little bit more versatile and it has a little bit more features. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the Alfred Home app. Um, it's actually a little bit different on the iOS and Android. As you can see, the uh, iOS one here is called Alfred Home Security Camera, and on Android it's called Alfred Home Security Camera Baby Pet and Monitor CCTV. So um, as you can kind of tell by the Android name, um, you can use this for more than just a baby monitor. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to install the app on two devices. Um, it doesn't have to be two phones, it can be a tablet um, and a phone. Um, the reason why you need two devices is because one is gonna be a camera and one is gonna be a viewer. So chances are that your newer phone is gonna be the viewer and your old phone is gonna become the camera. So you will need a Google account. Um, those accounts are free, so I highly suggest you get one if you don't have one. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm assuming that you already have one since they're fairly common. All right. So you're gonna go ahead here, it just kind of tells you that you need to sign in. Um, so go ahead and just try it out. Let's get started. All right, so my old phone is gonna be the camera and the new one's gonna be the viewer. So this is how I have it set up. Go ahead and get started and sign in with my Gmail. You do have to give it permissions. All right, so now that I've signed in, um, you will see that you will need to allow notification. So um, now it's kind of pointing down on my table. It's kind of hard to make a thing. So I'm just going to point at a random thing on my desk right now. Um, as you can, gonna, once I click on it, you'll see that it's now live on my desk. Um, as you can see, there is ads. Um, this is slightly annoying. However, um, that's something I think you can live with since it is free. So if you are using this for a baby monitor or maybe even a security camera, you do want to turn on the motion uh, notification. So for this, you would use the viewer phone. Um, go to the little settings icon here on top and turn on motion detection. Once you have motion detection, you can kind of adjust the settings on sensitivity, high, low, depending on um, the environment. So with motion detection on, you will actually get a notification on your phone and it'll tell you that, hey, look, something's happening. Um, you do get the option to either push the play button to um, see what it recorded, or you can watch live and see what's going on um, immediately. All right, so there are some additional baby monitoring features on here. Um, as you can see here, I actually have the uh, sound turned off um, just because I don't want any reverb um, as I'm talking right now, since my two devices are very close to each other. Um, and this one right here, this button, you actually, if you hold it down, you would actually be able to talk to the, or send sound to the other camera. By default, the quality is kind of low. It's a 240p, but I found that as a baby monitor, I think that's good enough. Um, you do have the option of changing to 720p. However, you will have to pay for the subscription fee on the app. And this camera icon over here actually allows you to record what's going on on the other camera, It'll let you control the recording. Um, and here you control the rotation. Um, this is neat stuff over here is that you actually get to turn the flashlight of the other camera on. You can turn on night vision. So this last icon here actually um, allows your phone to make a siren noise. So this feature is actually probably better for someone using this as a security camera rather than a baby monitor. You probably don't want to press that button if you um, have the other phone uh, monitoring your baby as you might scare the baby. Now that you repurpose your old phone into a baby monitor, you probably still have the issue of pointing the camera at your baby or consistently pointing at the baby without you holding it. Um, what I found super helpful was repurposing something like this. This is a Joby GorillaPod. It's made for cameras. Um, as you can see here, it has a quarter 20 mount and usually you would put your camera here. However, um, since phones don't have that, what you would get is something like this. It's a cell phone holder um, that's made for something like this where it has a bottom as a quarter 20. So all you do is just screw it in. Just then snap it in place 
and then you would just go ahead and adjust it here. Walk the phone in. So the reason why I like the Gorillapod is because it has these bendable legs. Um, you can actually bend them around and just kind of wrap it around the bedpost or the crib and aim the camera at your baby. Let me know down below in the comment section what clever ways you've uh, mounted the camera to monitor your baby. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you next time.